Aloha, my wonderful YouTubers and guests. Y'all know who it is. Zero Hyper Gaming here bringing you all another reaction video. Now, are you folks ready for a death battle? Tonight we got Power Rangers versus Voltron. Or Voltron Force, so y'all might know. Our Go Go Lion is another name, y'all might know. Um, I'm slightly familiar with both Power Rangers and Voltron. Slightly familiar. Um, but before we start this footage, let me know in the comment section box below who you guys are vote for. Let me know who you think would win, Power Rangers or Voltron. Right now, um, before we get this video started, you know, I like to usually go for these type of votes. I usually like to just go for my favorite. Um, I did like growing up with Power Rangers, um, but I would, I'm hoping for Voltron to win. But yeah, I, I want to see how. It, how um, screw attack measures all the powers you know how they always go to the calculations and those little things that you don't notice like the feats that makes a huge difference in the power ratio and you know like everything they do I, I've you know I've never known but um, but let's go see maybe power rangers you know they have something special but for me I'm gonna go with Voltron first though. I'm gonna go with Voltron I uh, love Voltron love that show at least to watch the cartoon so much time. I used to watch the anime so much. I watched the US version actually. Um, it, it was always on, I think back then, I don't know if it was Channel 18 USA. It used to show like Saturday morning cartoons and stuff. And one of the an cartoons they saw the Saturday mornings, I think, on USA it used to be like, I think Voltron was one of them. Voltron, and there's another, there's, there, there's a few other. I don't know if it was cartoon or no. He-Man, I think He-Man may have been one of them. I think there was two different versions of He-Man. I think there was the, the older one and there was another... There was another new version of He-Man, but it was like the 90s version. I know the one before that was the 80s one, but the 90s one, I remember he had a blue light, like a blue sword. The sword did light up and he had, he had like a ponytail. I remember that. If I'm not mistaken. I might just try to research and that up. But anyways, folks, uh, let's go dive straight into this death battle. Power Rangers versus... Voltron. Let's go. Hey Mark. Hey <laughs> Jay. So now doing all this merch marketing, like these three awesome death battle t-shirts, can get kind of stressful. So we added some new office amenities that I think will help take the edge off. Like the new office jacuzzi. Let me get comfortable right real quick. Alright, maybe a relaxing massage then. Mm, I got a fear of hands. <laughs> How about a nice hot sauna? It's a fucking toast oven, Chad. <laughs> Mark Hoffman, and now I got the sexiest shirt in the market. Death battle shirt. You wear this, you're gonna find yourself in a sex battle. I don't know what a that sex is, but I know you'll love it, okay? <laughs> now click the link below and buy this shirt, or they're gonna eat me. <laughs> Buy the shit. Are they gonna eat? Death battle. Oh, I love the new logo though. It's finally time. Reminds me of Suicide Squad a little bit. The, the font. Yeah, the giant robot fight of all giant robots. This is my both my childhood. The heavy hitting mech commanded by five power rangers. We have power rangers up and for Voltron, the defender another of the fight. Universe, piloted by five paladins. For this matchup, there will be no dragon zords, no galaxy Ooh. garrisons, no robot brachiosaurus, and no mice. Just a good old 5v5 war of the giant robots. The original versus the original. Stick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Since the dawn of time, good has battled the forces of evil. The vicious witch Rita Repulsa and her giant monsters waged war with the good-natured galactic sage Zordon. Their 2,000-year war finally ended when Rita zapped him into a time warp, but not before Zordon managed to lock her up in a space dumpster? <laughs> yes, apparently that thing is a space dumpster, or to put it more accurately, a galactic recycling bin. Uh, however, Zordon knew it was only a matter of time before Rita escaped to conquer Earth once more. Good thing Zordon had thousands of years to come up with a yeah, I forgot Zordon was plan. like a sage. He could summon the five greatest warriors from around the galaxy to defend the planet. Or... Teleport to us five overbearing and over-emotional humans. No! <laughs> not that! Not teenagers! 
That plan is asinine, but somehow it worked. Zordon granted five teenagers the ability to draw power from a dimension called the Morphin Grid. This molecular transmutation turns them into superhumans with access to mighty mechanical beasts called Zords, becoming the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Mastodon! Mastodon! That was the shit, man, back then, dude. I thought that the hype the shit when I was in, when I was in third and fourth grade, man. First, there's Jason Lee Scott, the Red Ranger. He's a fearless leader, expert martial artist, and owns one of the coolest swords of the bunch, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Billy Cranston, the Blue Ranger, is the genius of the group. He loves to work with machines, especially his impressive Triceratops sword. With its grappling hook horns, this 140-ton behemoth can stop a foe in its tracks. Trini Kwan, the Yellow Ranger, is equal parts brains and martial arts specialist. She's a threat both outside and inside her speedy saber-toothed tiger sword. Kimberly Ann Hart, the Pink Ranger, is a smack-talking valley girl who has the skies covered in her pterodactyl sword. That was, no, that sword was awesome, times dude. The speed of sound. Last but not least, there's Zack Taylor, the Black Ranger, who's mastered his own fighting style called Hip Hop Keto. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about I remember that shit. Yep, Hip Hop Keto. Along with his Mastodon sword. Although slow, this sword can freeze blast enemies with ice. Or saran wrap if you're short on budget. But when five giant mechanical beasts aren't enough to keep the villains down, oh, I used to thought, I used think that was awesome. Or just the coolest friggin' thing you've ever seen in your life! Power Rangers, bring them together! Oh man, that was the hypest shit ever. This is the Megazord. A 333 foot colossus with enough power. Dude, the to soundtrack for Power Rangers is actually really good. Sometimes unintentional. All five Rangers pilot the Megazord as one, combining their own martial arts skills to defeat giant monsters. It's like a giant <laughs> rock'em suck'em robot with laser beams. He can fry enemies with its cranial laser, blast fireballs from its hands, shoot immobilizing beams from its eyes, oh, and I forgot he use that. the I remember he had that. as a shield. a shield. And when it's time to send someone to an early grave, they that summon their ex machina. I thought just falls from the sky. <laughs> Little known fact, simply touching the power sword can recharge the Megazord if it's low on power. It's not just a battery. This giant sword is over 100 feet long and orbits the Earth when not in use. Plus, it can oh, launch that's why it falls from the sky and just orbits the Earth. Makes sense. With just one swing. And there's even more. Makes it's sense. A surprisingly versatile weapon, like hmm. this feature they implemented against the Nasty Knights. Any energy we throw at him, he just reflects back at us. That's why our weapons are burned out. So what do we hmm. do about it? Reflect his energy back at him, along with a bit of our own. I don't get it. Oh, what? Apparently, the power sword can absorb oncoming kinetic energy and turn it against the attacker. Oh, I did not know that. The Megazord's striking power. Oh, that well, could be a good tool. Absorbing power and reflecting it back. The Power Rangers have been through almost everything. From fighting a world-destroying dragon to a giant walking... Oh, yeah, Serpentarius. <laughs> They've even fought Kimberly's purse. Man, these villains were getting desperate, <laughs> and so were the writers. Anyway, the Megazord is strong enough to lift and throw the 170-ton Dragon Zord into a mountain with little effort. So long, Gay Bowser! Even Gay Bowser. individual <laughs> Zords can support the weight of whole monsters on their own. While many of these monsters should weigh similar to the Megazord, some certainly weigh even more. In fact, in a general scale, when you double the size of an object, its weight increases by a factor of eight. Hmm. Comparing these organic monsters to human beings means some of them could weigh as much as 10,000 tons. And the Megazord even gut punched one of them over a hundred feet into the air. I don't know there was Power Rangers comics. Assuming that monster is 10,000 tons, lifting at 133 feet would require about 90 million newtons of force. 50 times as much force as a space shuttle's launching thrust. That kind of strength, I bet you could backhand a person into outer space. That's oddly specific. Strange, wasn't it? 
Regardless, they've used that strength to take down countless monsters <laughs> capable of wiping out all life on Earth. That punch. They even went toe to toe with Cyclopses, a war zord designed to conquer. Oh, I remember Cyclopses. But even for the Power Rangers, defending the Earth is no small job. When they least expect I think he was the last. I think Cyclopses was the last boss in the first in the of Power Rangers fighting game. And it doesn't help that half the for Sega Genesis. They just get hit so damn much. Despite the Megazord's awesome power, it's really lacking in the whole maneuverability department. I mean, come on! It can at least try to avoid <laughs> an attack. But when the enemy hits hard, the power... Oh, yeah, that's right. He barely could hard. dodge attacks. With the fate of the world I used to love that. Hands, that crossbow. No one can ever all the weapons on down. top. Rangers! <laughs> from days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. In less cryptic terms, all right, let's see what we ago, got. The evil cruel empire nearly conquered the entire node. Hopefully, this sounds better with the but microphone here. Everybody was cool with fleets of ships shooting up their planets, so a team of scientists and magic priests decided to fight back. Through the marriage of magic and technology, Voltron, baby. A 300 foot tall living automaton. Oops. So powerful that it's single handed. Voltron, baby. Before long, the whole universe had heard of the mechanical knight known as Voltron. Voltron. <laughs> no, that music, that soundtrack was awesome too. I love that music. Oh man. King Zarkon ordered a space so much nostalgia with, with that music. With a magic space spell. Dun, dun, dun. And it kind of worked. Instead of being destroyed, Voltron was split up into five very merchandisable robot lions. Divided and stripped of its sentience, the universe's best hope had fallen. Until five space explorers crash landed on Eris, the exact same planet the lions just so happened to be hiding on. Destiny or some crap led them to the castle where the Princess Allura gave them a life-changing opportunity. Pilot the long-lost lions and go around saving the universe for a living. Keith Cogain is the head of the lion force in more ways than one. Keith, okay, I'm right leader of the team, he commands his cohorts, and he pilots the Black Lion, the literal head of Voltron. Lance McClain is the Lance Han Solo McClane. of the group. This hot-headed show-off controls the Red Lion, which forms Voltron's right arm. So Yoshi Garrett, better known okay, so that was the, the muscle of the team. He pilots the yellow lion. I like how the colors are completely different. Play. The blue lion is piloted by Sven Holgerson. No, oh, he did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> the blue lion is piloted <laughs> by Princess Allura herself, taking over after the Oh man, I feel so bad for Sven. Her lion forms Voltron's right leg. Last up is Daryl Stoker. You can pitch. Call he was awesome. The, green lion, Voltron's the only matching lion. He's also, well, a little unhinged. Pitch! Get rid of that grenade! Oh, come across here. outfit matches his lion's colors. I mean, damn, it's not that hard, people. And when all <laughs> five lions combine, Voltron lives again. Activate Mega Thrusters! Oh! Voltron! <laughs> Form, feet, feet, and, and legs, legs form, arms, arms, and, and body, body. <laughs> and form, form the, the head. head. Oh, that shit was awesome, man. Oh. Stay in the heads of the lions when they're fighting? That has to be, like, ridiculously nauseating. <laughs> that was some seizure-ish, seizure transformations back then. Speaking of which, Voltron got busy fighting Zarkon's giant row beast and saving the universe with a huge assortment of weapons. Oh, that's, that song is from Stingray missiles, the new Voltron. Sting oh, I didn't know he had Stingray missiles. Or blast the lion heads off like rockets. I didn't even know he was powered by the sun. With ion dart lasers hmm. from its head or use the electro force I know he had that attack. On Keith's command, the Lion Force can manifest Voltron's most powerful weapons out of thin air. Everything from spinning laser blades to javelins to nunchucks. But the real showstopper is the almighty Blazing Sword. Blazing Sword. Form Blazing Sword. That soundtrack, dude. Oh, that's so With awesome. this blade, Voltron can slice through most rubies like Jello and dish out the Starfire attack. Which splits Robies apart and also makes a friggin' tornado. <laughs> the blazing sword can also this add a tornado in there just <laughs> just to add flare. 
The Blazing Sword is enormously powerful, capable of destroying a satellite hundreds of times larger than Voltron. Voltron himself is powerful enough to melt meteors, kick giant machines sky high, and take explosions the size of countries. The Voltron Lions have even traveled between galaxies in less than a day, making them several times faster than the speed of light. Oh. Voltron has also survived landing on the Omega Comet, which is so dense it possesses the gravitational force of a black hole. Okay, that all sounds insane, but even giant robot man lions have their limits. Like getting ganged up on by multiple row beasts at once, or getting stabbed and sliced open. But black hole levels of gravity? <laughs> That's a gigwag, right? Voltron may be strong, but it lacks the finesse and skill of one trained in martial arts. Voltron also carries a shocking design. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, the none of them are actual combat. Are struck in combat. combat. It could jettison an entire limb from the core body. They don't have a lot of close combat wait. experience. You're me that if I kick Voltron, freaking Voltron, in the shins hard enough, he'll just lose a leg and it'll just pop right off. Essentially, yes, though it has only happened in training. Even so, whether the lion forces up against a technical issue or a colossal robies, the universe can always depend on Voltron. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> he always had a pose at the end. Love that. All right, the combatants are set. Let's send this debate once and for all. But first, all this time. Oh, oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh up. man. So let's, let's, let's fix that. I know a lot of people wanted these two to fight for a long time. A who likes a good home cooked meal? Oh, Blue Apron. Going out to buy or hunt my own food is a hassle. If only there was some way food could be brought straight to me. Good news, Boomstick. Introducing Blue Apron, the number one fresh food delivery service in the country. Using only the freshest ingredients, Blue Apron delivers a kit of ready-to-cook meals straight hmm. to your door. Along with I wonder if this actually works, Blue Apron. Let me, Plus, I should try to try check this out. Proportioned, so it cuts down on waste, and you know you're using the right amount. On how does on it use the that, vegetable? you can log into their website and select the upcoming meals that sound good to you. Like the spinach fresh mozzarella pizza with olives. Plus, it does feel rewarding cooking new and exciting meals right in your own home. But don't just take our word for it. We want you to try it. Because you're watching Death Battle, you can get three meals free with free shipping by heading to blueapron.com forward slash battle. Mm, that's pretty good. Seriously, you will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. That's blueapron.com forward slash battle. But right now, it's time for our Death Battle! Oh! Come on, Voltron, my boy. On, oh, the graphics got the better. The activity originates here. Finally, if I don't see a dinosaur today, I'm blaming you. Quiet, Les. I'm picking up something. <laughs> Power Rangers. Hello. Wow, just like that. <laughs> oh, they're going straight to the fight. Huh? I love this soundtrack. I think I found the dinosaurs. All right, Rangers. Oh, wow. This is Billy. All systems go. Oh. Training reporting. Ready to oh, rock. Man, my two favorite sh one of my two favorite shows, mech shows back in the days. Oh. It's my boys right there. Let's see, let's see how they're gonna do this. Arms and body. And four. Oh, this is so crazy. A uh, low screw attack for this, making this battle happen. Oh shit, he's fucking huge! <laughs> Oh man. Oh, Megazark is a tank, man. He can take so much damage. But they do have a lot of long range attacks, I remember that. Oh. Mastodon shield. <laughs> oh, it hit him. Oh, 
mysteriously for Blazing Sword. So, blazing Sword. There we go. Take your sword out too, man. I love how the Blazing Sword looks. Oh yeah, they usually do after the, the heated sword and they sl did a vertical slash. <laughs> oh my god, I remember the Megaz Megazord is really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Some power, Voltron, without the sword. Oh, stun day. I like how they remix the two songs together Power Rangers and Voltron music. Oh, it's. Damn, uh, is it over? He's immobilized. Oh, he don't got a left and right arm, man. Which one's still in it? Yeah, Pidge, dude. Get that sword, I right? get it. Give him covering fire. With what? Everything. <laughs> so, just everything. <laughs> he just fired everything from his whole body at Megazord. Yeah, Pidge. It's too much. Dash and slash. KO! Now that's what I call a battle! There's a good reason why Voltron is the best. Yeah, Voltron! Universe. While the Megazord boasted excellent abilities in hand to hand and sword combat, Voltron couldn't go down so easily. Voltron's huge arsenal put it ahead, especially in long range. Even when the Megazord could get in close, it couldn't keep up with Voltron's blazing speed. I mean, Voltron travels between galaxies in a matter of hours, and it can fly. The Megazord once punched a monster weighing at most 10,000 tons, 133 feet into the air. In contrast, Voltron kicked a 3,900 ton mutated bulldozer nearly 1,900 feet up. Despite Voltron's monster weighing less than the Megazords, this is still a more impressive feat. Comparing weight and distance traveled for both feats, Voltron's requires at least five and a half times more strength. Plus, Voltron clearly had the superior durability, especially with that black hole comet feat. The Omega Comet's pull could destroy entire planets within 62 miles of itself, which means the comet could output forces of over 13 sextillion newtons. The Megazord couldn't survive anything close to that level of power. We can prove it. Later in Power Rangers history, they upgraded their mech to the Thunder Megazord, which is specifically stated to be more powerful than the original Megazord. Oh, I remember that, the Thunder Zord, the upgrade. Once mastered, your Zords will reveal even greater powers. When this new Megazord fought a giant sword called Serpentera, which at full power could destroy planets, a single blast from it easily tore the Thunder Megazord. Oh yeah, Serpentera is powerful, man. Even use half of Serpentera's power. I think I think they actually took control of Serpentera later on, including strength, speed, and durability. Trust me, I'm not lying. The <laughs> not lying. Don't go away. We're about to reveal who's fighting. Oh, next let's go episode. see who's fighting next. The scenes commentary on this episode. Then just click that box and start a 30-day free trial for a first membership. Thanks, guys. Natsu, an ace. Oh, One Piece and Fairy Tale. Oh, it's interesting. Very interesting. Ooh, y'all know what to do. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and check out Death Battles channel. They do great work. Love their battles, man. They're the ones who made all the battles. I'll put the original link in the description box below. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to my channel, Zero Hyper Gaming, and don't forget to follow me on Twitch. That same name, Zero Hyper Gaming, folks. Um. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below what y'all think about the reaction video and what you think about the overall battle. Um, I, I actually loved it. This battle was really, really good. I liked it. Um, 
The one thing I wish, I just wish the battle was at the fight was a lot, a lot longer. Um, but yeah, the, the, this was actually very, very, very good. But ah, I just wish the bat, the fight was a lot longer. It, it felt like, <laughs> it felt like the whole battle lasted only for like a minute or two. I wish it was a little bit longer. Maybe long as the, like maybe the same length as the Goku vs Superman battle, like that type of length, or the Devil May Cry fight. That was a good length of battle. But oh man. I'm so glad, happy that ooh, I'm so happy that Screw Attack made this fight happen between um, the Megazord, Power Rangers, and Voltron Force. But uh, I knew Voltron Force would come victorious, though. I mean, you, when you look at all those feats, though, that Voltron had, he, he, you know, he did everything by himself, fighting off empires all at once on his own. It's powerful. Like now, maybe it could be a different story. If it was Voltron versus um, the newer Power Rangers, like I think there was only like a pirate ship or something, and they had to fight off a whole empire on their own. Like the the way distant future, like the the newer current Power Rangers now, like if they fought the current TV series one, maybe they might have beaten Voltron. <laughs> Who knows though? But anyways, folks. Um, yeah, that was an awesome battle. But let me know what y'all think of the battle. Did did you think? Voltron deserved to win. I, I, I just, I'm just happy he won. <laughs> Regardless, uh, you know, just let me know what y'all think though, or um, let me know if you guys are all disappointed that Power, if Power, um, if since Power Rangers lost, because this is actually the second time Power Rangers lost. The last time they lost in Death Battle was against, um, I think it was against the White Ranger, the Tiger Zord, with the full Megazord transformation. For, and it was versus Epion, Gundam Epion, Epion with Zex with the pilot as Zex. Zex is the pilot. Um, Epion, Gundam Epion one, um, along with the pilot. But whew, this is like two losses for Power Rangers, man. Whew, they just can't catch a break, man. <laughs> Anyways, folks, um, thank y'all for supporting me. You almost had a thousand subs, folks. Let's keep going, folks. All right, hate to cut this short, but. Whew, like Zero Hyper Gaming always says, folks, mahalo, peace. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and share my videos. And also stay tuned for more content from Zero Hyper Gaming, folks. All right. Take care everybody, mahalo. Also for more of my gameplay footage and videos, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash zerohypergame. And also don't forget to check out my YouTube gaming channel at YouTube Gaming or youtube.com slash zerohypergaming for more gameplay footage and videos. And also don't forget to check out some of my reaction videos, top 10 videos, and gameplay highlights and vlogs and boy folks. Um, so stay tuned for more content, daily content or weekly content. And my group shaming with DGH. Alright folks, peace out.